So you're thinking about moving to the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach area, and better yet, you're thinking about investing in a condo, and you're wondering, you know, when's the best time to do it? Uh, what what does ROI stand for? I mean, there's so many questions that a lot of people have, and so we thought today we would do a video on it because I happen to have the expert here. Aileen is absolutely an expert in condo investing. Um, she does it herself. Um, so, you know, we just want to talk to her and pick her brain. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, um, just make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so you can be the first ones notified about the current market situation in the Orange Beach Gulf Shores area and all the surrounding areas too. Uh, we do, this is, I'm Mandy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain, my partner, and we do videos just like this every week. So we'll give you all the information you need to know about, you know, moving to the area, living in the area, um, any, even vacationing in the area. Um, we're with the XP Realty. And like I said, we, we do these videos every week just to be informative, just to let people know, you know, all the stuff there is to know, all the ins and outs. The goods what it's and the like bad. to really live here. Absolutely. Uh, we love it. I mean, we get calls and emails and texts and everything from people just like you every single day. And we absolutely love it. I mean, we just love it. So don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call us if it's nine days or 90 days before you're thinking about making your move. Please give us a call shoot us a text, shoot us an email, schedule a Zoom call so you can talk to us face to face. We'd love to talk to you and help you make a smooth move to our little slice of paradise. So Aileen, today we're talking about condo investing. I know that this is an area where you are basically an expert in it. So um, I mean, first question I'm always getting asked is what does ROI stand for? What is it? What, I mean, should I be scared of it? I mean, what is it? <laughs> I mean, you know, no, nobody seems to know. ROI is return on investment, and uh, it is um, definitely something that you want to look at when looking at a condo. Um, obviously, you know, what investors can expect to get has really changed over the last handful of years. Traditionally, in our market, and every market's going to be a little different, but traditionally in our market, we really liked to see a 10% return, meaning if you're going to spend $500,000 on a condo, you wanted it to be able to gross at least $50,000 uh, in rental income. And that was kind of the benchmark. Yeah. Um, today's market, it is very tough to see those numbers. Yeah. Um, you know, they've, they've been really tough to find here, especially since we've had this run up. But, you know, I, I do believe the market's going to correct a little bit. And, you know, as the rates come up and the, the thing is, is in our market, we still have a tremendous amount of cash buyers. So, yeah. you know, the rate going up and, and thus causing prices to shift downward is going to help our cash buyers. Right. And we'll hopefully get that, you know, get those numbers back in sync to where investors will come back in. And not even just investors. And when I say investor, I would say 80% of the condo buyers that I deal with are they're going to use the condo one or two times a year and they want the condo to rent and pay for itself when they're not using it. So that number is, is going to be determined by how much money they put down. And, yeah. um, but anyway, yeah, that is, that's the majority of the buyers that I deal with in this market. Now, lately there's been a lot of 1031 money. There's been a lot of cash buyers, a lot of people that have moved money from elsewhere that now want to get that short-term rental income cash flow. And so when you're paying cash, it can it, you can afford to be a little bit more flexible on those numbers. But I'm, just, I'm talking on traditionally what we've seen in our market. Right. Well, you just mentioned something that I'm sure people have a question about. What is 1031 money? What do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> okay, so 1031 is when you have sold another property mm -hmm. And, you know, if it wasn't your primary, you're going to have to pay capital gains taxes on it. Well, right. in order, there is a, a loophole to shelter that gain if you roll it into another property, another like-kind property. 
Uh, you definitely will want a, a 1031 attorney. You will need a 1031 attorney. Right. Uh, we've got a number of great local 1031 attorneys here that, that do handle these. Um, one in particular does a tremendous amount of them down in our market. But that will shelter your gain and um, keep you from having uh, to pay taxes on that property. How long do I have to do this? Is it like normally... I mean, do I have a year to do it? Do I no. Have... Oh, so okay. this is the catch, and this is what made it really challenging when we had no inventory. You have 45 days to identify up to three properties, and then you've got a total a total of six months to close on the new property from the time that you closed on the property you're exchanging to the property that you're exchanging into. You have a six-month time frame. So, okay. you know, the really challenging part is that 45-day time frame. That's yeah. that's uh, that's challenging but as our market you know I, I i anticipate more more properties starting to kind of trickle on the market um which will help with the the inventory so yeah okay well uh so if you have some property that's not your primary residence and you've gotten rid of it and you want to buy something at the beach hurry up and give us a call <laughs> so. yeah. yeah the clock's ticking <laughs> yeah no doubt um, I don't, is there anything else we need to know? I mean, I, I really can't think of any other questions that, that have come, that come to mind. This, this, there's, there's a lot, uh, you know, we could really kind of get down into the nitty gritty, but I think for, for the purpose of this and, and just a general overview, you know, when you're, when you're taking a look at, at properties and you'll be able to see a lot of times they'll advertise what a property grossed last year. Right. Um, sometimes it's in remarks that you can't see on Zillow and Realtor.com. If you've got an agent, your agent should be able to either find it in the listing, it's either attached in the listing, or they can get out and get some rental projections for you to see what that property could likely do. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like the trick here is hiring a good real estate uh agent that's what it sounds like to me unless you're <laughs> yeah unless you're a savvy investor it, it's a good idea to yeah. have somebody who regularly does these types of purchases for for buyers well and especially in that area you know like you like i said you you happen to be an expert at it because you've done it so much mm -hmm. and you know and the fact is you do it yourself you that's know right. you you actually own some places that you rent out you know that that sort of thing so yeah, I mean it's just a it's just a good idea in general to hire an expert. And anytime you just start to do anything, hire an expert. I mean that's that's what what my goal. I mean if I'm cutting grass, I want to hire an expert. I mean, yeah, you know, that, that's it. So that's going to do it for today's video. And uh, just remember, if this is your first time to the channel, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring the little bell for notifications so you can be the first one notified when we put out videos. So you can be the first one to learn about moving to our area, living in our area. Um, vacationing in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach area and the surrounding areas as well. We're going to do more videos um, about condo investing. We're also going to show you some of the affordable places at the beach. A lot of people don't think you can buy at the beach because they say, oh my god, yeah, I can't afford to buy anything on the beach. But you'll be surprised yep. you can afford to buy something on the beach. And we're going to show you. Um, so those, those videos will be coming soon. Um, until then, see you around town.